Hey Guardian gals and guys, it is Coltrans from Necrotic Gaming here. I'm bringing you to Titanic Titans today. I'm going to be bringing you a Void Titan using the Precious Scars. Um, and I'll have a couple of weapon choices I will share with you. And after that, I have an Arc Titan using the Innermost Light, um, another popular community exotic. Um, I didn't like Precious Scars when it first came out. I think it was more of a fashion choice. Uh, stupid of me, but now I'm using it. I'm absolutely loving it and combining it with the Chivalric Fire Sword. Um, I am literally lighting up areas um, like firework displays with suppression. I'm getting all the buffs that you want to run with your Titan and I'm absolutely shredding with it. Um, so we'll cover that and um, we will take a nice deep dive into the build. So what we have here is our Void Titan. You can see him looking ugly as hell in the background with his precious scars on. But the super that I'm using, I want to be running like Captain America. I want to be bunking the hell out of things and suppressing them. I want to be throwing my shield with this one. I like it because it's a good ad clearer, gives me some distance. Um, shoulder charging in as well, making everything volatile and suppressing stuff is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to be going for the Rally Barricade. I use this because I like peeking over the top of it and I like the fast reloads that I get with it. Um, strafe Lift, I'm always running with Strafe Lift. Um, I just like the maneuverability that I get with it. I like the fact that I can change position, I can drift in and out of cover with it. I just like it in general. Um, shield bash, I like it because after sprinting I get um, an extremely fast running titan no matter what my mobility is and when I bash I get suppression with it which is absolutely fantastic and everything around it goes volatile. I'm going to be using the vortex grenade but bastion is going to be where it's at because of the super granting the overshield to nearby allies. And when I cast my barricade, it grants an overshield to me and my fire team. Then we're going to be running controlled demolition. After hitting a target with a void ability or volatile explosion, um, you're going to be getting volatile rounds. Then we're going to be going for echo of cessation. Uh, we're doing this to get void breaches, void abilities, um, final blows will cause targets to explode. And that's going to be the expulsion. Then we're going to go for the Starvation, uh, picking up a Void Breach or an Orb of Power, Grants Devour. And uh, lastly, we've got the Echo of Instability, uh, defeating targets with grenades, grants, volatile rounds to your weapons, <coughs> as your Void Weapons. Um, a really, really solid, aggressive build. And you can see here the Precious Scars. Um, in it, I've got it to create orbs on my Void Weapon Kills, Final Blows from weapons with a dam damage type matching your subclass energy, creates a burst of healing around you and grants allies restoration after reviving or being revived. Um, you get the same as well. You also gain um, an aura that provides overshields to you and your near by allies. Absolutely solid build. Chivalric Fire, completely underrated sword, um, but it's really nice in Onslaught, especially when you've got groups of ads. You've got the destabilizing rounds, uh, making your targets volatile, and then you've obviously got your Repulsor Brace, and you are getting that shield come back with that, which is absolutely fantastic. And on top of that, um, it launches a heavy projectile, um, which is really cool. The other one I'm running with is the Positive Outlook, and it's an, an absolutely amazing... Um, 450 round um, auto rifle and it comes with destabilizing rounds so you've got two weapons with the destabilizing rounds and it absolutely slaps um, you can see here what I'm set up with um, on the helmet though you can see the uh, pressure scars helmet that I was running the two um, void orb mods um, this build is really solid really tanky you can see in the footage that there are a ton of orbs spawning and also a ton of void breaches and um, you'll be able to see on the side of the screen um, the overshields you'll be able to see the valve coming up plus I'm running um, strand mods on my um, Titan as well for the artifact um, you can see I'm using the thorn here but I usually run tusk with the ball so getting all of those 
unraveling rounds um, on top of everything is absolutely fantastic. But here it's about devour and volatility, and I absolutely love it. Um, the soup is great. Also, you can pop your running barricade shield instead of popping a bubble. And uh, when your allies shoot through that, um, it gives them extra damage. And um, this build is absolutely fantastic. It's solid. You've always got an overshield at hand. There's breaches everywhere. You can end up orbs everywhere. With this build as well, you don't have to go with my weapon choices. You go with whatever weapon choices you're comfortable. Um, super wise, definitely going for Captain America over um, the bubble, unless you want to use the bubble in the boss fight. And there's a flag there, you can change it up. Sometimes you can switch your build completely. Um, like I said, run with whatever you're comfortable with, but just everything passive with this build is nasty. Um, and a recluse. Um, is really nice with this. Funnel web's really nice with it. Any SMG. Um, I haven't tried bows with it. Um, but also, you've got glaives. Glaives are a nice option. Just don't use that when you're going up against the hive because there are exploders everywhere. If you want a dim link for this build, just uh, pop it in the comments below and I will do it. I respond to everyone and I've given a dim link to everyone who's ever asked for it. Okay, and in a minute we will be getting on with our arc build. No, I'm using um, pressure scars, but um, yeah, I really like the pressure scars. Okay, so here we have our wonderful Arc Titan, and I'm running Thunder Crash on this one. You can use the other super if you add clear, but I like using Thunder Crash because I can deploy it super quick and take out a whole group of ads in one hit. And the super comes up relatively quick with what I'm using on here. Um, Thunder Crash is also one of my favorite supers anyway. <laughs> the fact you can launch like a torpedo and do your typical titan smash kind of fits with being a titan and uh, the law on how the thunder crash started i'll let you guys look that up but it's very very cool but i like using thrusters with this um the thrusters help me get back all my other abilities relatively quickly um i can be using the strafe lift again i love this uh, maneuverability then we're going to go for the seismic strike. Um, I like sprinting like a beast, especially when I'm amplified. You're even quicker. And shoulder charging and getting energy back on that shoulder charge. Fantastic. Then we're going to be going for the pulse grenades for our ionic traces. We're going to be using knockout. So basically defeating targets with melee attacks is going to start health regeneration. And um, it's, yeah, it's potent. It keeps you alive. Touch of Thunder, I'm using this because I'm using Pulse Grenades, which create the Arnic Traces. And you'll get a load of Arnic Traces just out of one Pulse Grenade. Especially if there's a load of ads. So we're going to be going Spark of Discharge, Hark Weapon, Final Blows, have a chance to create an Arnic Trace. So there's another Arnic Trace method coming back in there. Like I said, you're going to see these things coming back like crazy. Spark of Beacons, while you're amplified, your Arc Special Weapon, Final Blows, create a blinding explosion. So we're going to go for that blinding as well as doing Jolt. 
Then Spark Binds, defeating a jolted target, creates an Arnic Trace. So you can see again, the more Arnic Traces, the more of those you get, the more your abilities are coming back. And Spark of Shock, your Arc Grenades, jolt targets. So, champions, beware. This build is really nice when you're running it with the Heart of Innermost Light. So you can see using an ability... Um, grenade, melee, or barricade empowers the other two abilities. Empowered means abilities have a faster regen. Um, melee's grenades do more damage, and that is what this build's about. Um, it is really nasty. Like I said, you're going to be throwing abilities like crazy and having thrusters really good because it's super quick to proc. You're not tied to using a barricade with it. You're just getting out of the way quick and bringing everything back quicker. You can see here all the mods that I'm running so you can screenshot this um, if you want a dim for this comments below and I will add it you can see that I'm 100 on my resilience and my discipline and before anyone says it wasted bod I was just messing about with the build but um, I usually stick that excesses and discipline into my recovery just giving me a little bit more back so with this thing it's pretty simple you are just going to be laying out a hell of a lot of um, firepower using the centrifuge. Um, centrifuge is absolutely amazing. Um, it's a 450 auto exotic. Um, sprinting and sliding, firing this weapon, builds an electro charge, increasing range and reload speed. Final blows with high charge cause explosions and maximum charge explosions, blind targets. So you can see we've got that set up on our um, fragments as well, so we're going to be going for a hell of a lot of damage and add clearing and it's lethal plus getting the hollow blue out and getting this one involved as well. This thing is nasty. Compressed wave frame. Um, I absolutely love this, so we're going to be going for everything arc, so using this, groups of ads, your ionic traces, you're going to be building and building and building. Um, like I said, this one was from the Guardian games, but Thunderlord works absolutely amazing with this. And maybe running an Ikealos SMG and Bolt Shot. Absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, just keep those arc in your energy and your heavy. Run with a um, strand weapon to get those unraveling rounds. And you will be laughing. You'll be absolutely destroying everything. And this one's really nasty because it's got Bolt Shot. And it absolutely slaps. you can see here, um, the centrifuge doing its job, um, it kills really quick, um, like super quick in fact, especially when you're running and charging about as you do with the Titan, especially being an Arc Titan, you have got no business standing around unless you are spraying bullets. The Arnic Traces from this um, are really heavy, they're almost as heavy as they are on my um, Arc Warlock build, using the Fallen Sun star. Um, champions with this go down super quick plus having jolt as well um, you know, unstops um, I take down really easy with this um, I absolutely love this build um, it's fun super fun and like I said it's a typical meathead cranny build um, and you will knock everything flat with it it is satisfaction guaranteed um, you need to be using it <laughs> you can have a lot of fun with it like I said you can literally just wade in punching if you really wanted to Especially you're going up against high of course and punch the spade, you're going to come unstuck pretty damn quick. But you'll see in the footage, um, Arnic Trace is popping out, you'll see obviously you're creating. Um, this isn't the biggest um, orb um, build that I've got, but it's, it's pretty passive and because you've got everything else working off each other. You don't really need them as much as you do, say, with the Void build that I've got prior. Like I said, it's a lot of fun. Like I said, the thunder crash on this comes back really quick. You can see the Arnic Traces popping about. <laughs> and you can Sorry. see they can absolutely stand there getting hammed and nothing is really happening. Especially when you get groups of ads swarming in and you are using Please. your melee. Obviously you're and still going you're for getting your that restoration. Kills. And the restoration on this is really good and really solid. As long as you've got something yeah, to punch, <laughs> you've got well. grenade to drop. You've got Arnic Traces, first. you are laughing. And you can have plenty of all of those. Um, another thing with this is I like snapping the uh, Thunder Crash into those champions super quick as well. You can get that quick stun on them and Thunder Crash into them. On Onslaught they tend to be surrounded by an absolute ton of ads so it's not a waste. 
Okay, guys, that's it from me. Um, enjoy the rest of the footage. Uh, you'll be able to see everything working with this Titan. And um, like I said, I hope you enjoy it. Um, give me a like and subscribe if you want the demo for any of these um, T builds or any of the builds in my previous videos. Hit me up in the comments below with what you want and I will provide it. I usually respond back within a couple of hours. And um, I will see you in the next video. Have fun out there, Guardians.